What's up guys? So I've been using the MacBook Pro 16 inch with M3 Max for the past two weeks now and I feel that something is not right. Let me tell you about it. What's up guys, Jason Smashpop here and this is the MacBook Pro 16 inch with M3 Max, okay? But when it comes to design, I realized that there's no change at all because it looks and feels and weighs exactly the same as the previous generation, okay? So I think what Apple has done to make this stand out a little bit is by introducing a brand new colour called Space Black. And this is the Space Black colour, okay? Now I really like Space Black because it is really cool and very mysterious but I do wish that Apple makes it a little bit blacker you know like black black you know because now it's almost like dark space gray if you know what i mean and uh, if you shine it towards the light right you can actually feel that it's probably gray and not black at all now apart from that the ports on both sides are also the same okay so on the side here we also have like the max safe port we also have usb type c we have the thunderbolt ports we have the earphone jack on this side is my favorite slot of all which is the SD card slot okay now there's something not right about this one okay and let me tell you what it is so if you've watched Apple's announcement when they announced this new MacBook Pro with the new space black color right they actually say that it's actually using a special anodization seal to reduce fingerprint because previously with the MacBook Air in midnight blue color we can actually see a lot of fingerprints okay but for this they say that oh don't worry no fingerprint one because uh, we got this anodization seal okay so I feel that it's not quite true because it is still a fingerprint magnet and as you can see here I just simply put my fingers on the MacBook and I can already see my own fingerprint okay it is probably a little bit fingerprint proof but it is definitely still a fingerprint magnet. As much as you can customize the design of this MacBook Pro by putting your fingerprints inside and outside, okay, it will never affect the performance because the M3 Max chip is really, really efficient and it's also battery saving. Why do I say that? Because according to Apple, this thing can actually use for 22 hours straight, okay? And of course, based on my experience, I usually don't count by hours, but my usual usage, I only charge the MacBook Pro once every three days around there. So I would feel that it is true what they say but uh, if you edit videos all the time from morning until night I would suggest that you just keep it charged every day okay but for me I'm okay with just charging it once every three days now when it comes to performance according to Apple okay the M3 version of the MacBook Pro actually is 2.5 times faster rendering than the M1 Max okay and it is also 80% faster in CPU wise now based on my experience because I've been editing videos on Final Cut Pro uh, on the M1 Max uh, devices and also on the M2 Max devices and now on the M3 Max I actually can't feel a lot of difference between the M3 Max and also the M2 Max okay but of course that is why Apple is comparing it with the M1 Max to at least see some significant upgrades okay and of course this thing is not for people who wants to upgrade from the M2 Max devices. Definitely is for people who are from the M1 Max or below, for example, like the Intel chip laptops, okay? For example, Intel chips MacBook, or if you're using a Windows laptop running Intel chips, you can also try and uh, upgrade to the M3 Max because if you want the most powerful laptop in the market now, this has to be it, okay? Now, apart from editing videos, I also do a lot of photo editing and when it comes to photo editing, I have to say Adobe Photoshop is probably the best software that you can use at this moment because it has generative AI which is also what I use Adobe Photoshop the most nowadays okay now as you can see here after I input what I want and the generation of the visuals will still take a while and I feel that it is not because of the M3 Max not performing well because uh, it is also quite similar 
speed as the M2 Max. Okay, so I feel that the graphics processing that it requires has already been fulfilled. It's just that because when you do AI generative, it has to connect to the cloud and then it will go to like the Adobe servers, you know, to process the graphics and send it back down. Hence, we still see a little bit of waiting time uh, when you input to generate the graphics that you want. And I've got to say, the 16-inch MacBook Pro has always have the best speakers in laptops in the market now. The sound is very loud, but it's very controlled. And what I love about it is the bass. It is so strong and so gentle at the same time. What do you, do you think I'm going to be all intrigued by what's behind the door? You've given me the world. Places, everybody. And as Malaysians, there's always one question in mind when it comes to buying gadgets. How much is it? Correct or not? So if you check out the Apple website, right, the prices are all already there, but I can also tell you lah. So the MacBook Pro 16-inch actually starts from 12K, but that is the M3 Pro chip, okay, and it goes up based on how you want to, uh, you know, customize your MacBook Pro. But if you want something more affordable, they also have the 14-inch that starts with the M3 chip, and that's only 7.5K onwards, okay? But you need to know, Space Black is only available for the 16-inch, and the 14-inch only comes with the silver and also the space grey. So, uh, pick lah which colour you like, okay? So, conclusion. After using this for two weeks and after talking to people asking me about the MacBook Pro 16-inch and also the 14-inch, uh, I would say that if you are using the M2 version of the MacBook Pros, you don't have to upgrade to this. If you're using the M1 version, like for example, the M1 Max MacBook Pro, maybe you don't have to also uh, but you can also upgrade if you want the space black color or if you have extra cash lying around, why not, right? But you should definitely get the new M3 series of MacBook Pros if you're using an Intel chip laptop, whether it's a MacBook from I don't know how many years ago or a Windows machine, okay? Because this can definitely do a lot more and more efficient and more power saving than what you currently is using. So there you go. If you want to know more about gadgets and also my thoughts on, you know, this kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the subscribe button below this video. Share this video with your friends and follow me on all social platforms. My name is Smashpop and I'll see you in the next one. Yo.